What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And I got a story that I want to see if y'all can make any sense of this. Uh, so before I even comment on it, I'm just going to have to let you see the story. So take a look. Man is accused of being a naughty delivery driver. Police say he hid packages he was supposed to drop off and then doubled back hours later to steal them. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live now in Miami with how he got caught. Christina. That UPS seasonal employee, well, UPS tells us now he is a former employee after police say he was caught on tape stealing packages. You know, it's a shame. You got arrested for grand theft. You got a chance, you're 18, and you got a chance to work, and then you go and allegedly do something pretty stupid stealing the packages. This is 18-year-old Emmanuel Regin finding himself in so court at the receiving end of a scolding by Judge Mindy Glazier after police say he was caught on camera stealing UPS boxes containing electronic devices to include Kindles, a Surface Pro tablet, and iPad 7. It all went down here, a company located at 512 Northeast 190th Street. Regin was working with UPS as a seasonal employee and police say while he was helping the full-time driver unload more than 5,000 packages, he snuck three packages under and in nearby dumpsters. Police say surveillance video caught him returning hours later to sneak the stolen goods into a car. The very next day, at the very same place, police say he does it again. This time, a manager had already reviewed the surveillance video and saw what went down the day before. And a police detective is waiting for him when he returns to pick up three more squirreled away packages. He's arrested on a grand theft charge and then today in Judge Glazer's courtroom. So now you're going to lose your job and I don't know what and face in jail and up to five years in prison if you're found guilty. His shoulders begin to sink. His head lowers as she expresses her disappointment. I don't know if that's the path in life you want to take, but I would think not. I would think you'd want to like stay out of trouble, get a good job and have a nice life. UPS tells us they are working with investigators on this one, and we are joining you live from Corrections because we are waiting for him to be released. We wanted to catch up with him to see if he had some time to reflect on what the judge had to say this morning. For now, reporting live for you, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. Okay, so after seeing this, you can see that you got a young boy, young, young black man uh, that was given a second chance, uh, even though he had a record. They said, you know what, you can come work at UPS, make some chips, Maybe rehabilitate yourself. Who knows? Might get picked up later on full time. But that wasn't enough for this brother. This brother had to go and get the sticky fingers as if nobody would notice items starting to just turn up missing. So he starts sneaking these packages off, setting to a side, you know, just drip, drip. Don't want to take too much and make it obvious. Like, oh, man, uh, we just realized 25 packages are gone. One or two. Now, what was he going to do with those? I mean, this is one of them situations where if you get five, six years in prison, and you thinking, I got six years in prison for a PlayStation and for just a couple items that either I was going to take home and play with myself or sell them to a couple of my friends. And now what you've done is ruined your whole life. This man, an example, is an example to all the young men in his position of what not to do. When you get a second chance, you would think he would be there on time, leave early, all of those things. But no, no, he decides to go ahead and start sneaking some items. And of course, you saw the video. Uh, eventually, he gets caught because cameras are everywhere nowadays. I mean, nowadays, cops don't even have to earn their catch. Back in the day, the cops used to have to catch the robber. Now the cameras catch the robber. So this man gets caught on camera, and then he went back to the crime like most people do to get caught. Had a young cousin, well, he's older. When he was growing up, from the time he was five, this man knew he wanted to be a bank robber. My father would come in, he'd be sitting there watching Saturday morning cartoons with a big bowl of Cheerios, and my father would say, hey, Robert, huh? What do you want to be when you grow up? Bank robber. Wouldn't even hesitate. A bank robber. And guess what? Grew up to be a bank robber. Now, the reason he got caught is because, guess what? Went right back to the same bank that he robbed. They were waiting on him. Took him away, boys. So this dude goes back, he gets caught, and now he's in court getting lectured by the, uh, the judge. Now, you know, that's not even the worst part of this whole story. The worst part of this whole story is this man's hair. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I saw the picture, I said, ay, 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 ay caramba. This man just gave Sideshow Bob a bad name. Y'all remember Sideshow Bob off of, off of The Simpsons with the big hair? This man got a big package of cotton candy sitting on top of his head. What is he thinking if you're going to get caught doing a crime? Shave it up. Look decent. 
okay? This man looks stupid on multiple levels. Stupid because he committed the crime, and then stupid because he looks like a bunny in a bush. You can't even distinguish his face from his hair. It's all over the place. He looks like one of those characters off of, uh, you know, the, 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 the little Oompa Loompas that would come out or something with the big hair on the top. What is he thinking? He embarrasses his father, his mother, all of us. He hit all the Jamaicans that grow dreads are going, what the boy like him back? If not grow any dreads, man. That, 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 don't, don't even try to compare me to him, man. That man's hair looks a mess. Where is he going with it? Right now, the hair is just going in all different directions. The hair looks a complete mess. I'm surprised he didn't hide a couple packages in his hair. He could have. He could have easily slid a whole PlayStation in his hair. That's how big it is. And now he's in court. Now, this is a lesson for all young men. You know, you're less suspicious. You're less to be judged if you, if you clean up a little bit, if you groom yourself, if you look like you got some sense. Because this man can't be wrapped too tight with that hairstyle looking like that. Um, it looks like a cloud came down and just settled right on his head. That's what it looks like. He's walking around like, what? I don't see the problem. Dude, you don't see that cloud sitting on top of your head? You know, no, I don't see anything. It's unbelievable. He has at least 15 pounds of hair on his head. I'm surprised when he was talking to the judge, he wasn't like, uh, yeah, so, I um, mean, you know, I, I, I promise if you let me go. Trying to balance all of that hair on top of his head. He looks nuts. The first thing they need to do when that guy goes to prison is click, cut it off and sell it to somebody. Because I'm sure somebody out there is like, well, all that much hair, I'll give you top dollar. Unbelievable. He looks ridiculous. So the big takeaway from the whole story is don't look like a fool if you get arrested doing something foolish. Now you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Check me out every Wednesday on my radio blog talk show on YouTube and on Facebook, 730 Live. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like something, go ahead, put my name in the promo code. Kevin, you'll get a 20% discount and you get free shipping right about now. And you get a 20% discount if you put my name in it. And also, don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Make sure you're still subscribed. Make sure that your notifications are set for all notifications. And then finally, if you want to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, feel free. All you got to do is just click on the links below. I'd appreciate it. And you can find me on Facebook and the Twitter. So here's a lesson for this man. This is what you need to go to right here, bro. Right there. Might get cut some slack by the judge. God bless. See you next time in Kevin's Corner.